imagine this. You are eight years old, and some kid at school comes up to you and tells you that Santa Claus isn't real. They're obviously crazy. I mean, everyone knows Santa's real. Your parents, your family, your friends. You even see Santa in movies, in, on billboards, at the mall, in books. He's everywhere. And this one person tells you something different, which obviously makes them crazy, right? But then, that one day comes. The day when you finally realize that Santa is fake. You realize that everyone you trust has been feeding you this lie ever since you've been able to comprehend words. That one kid at school doesn't seem too crazy anymore, do they? Now imagine that you never found out Santa was fake, and nobody else did either. So everyone around you, your family, your friends, even advertisers, still believed he was real. What if I told you that that same concept of being told a lie since the time you were born and still believing it to this day is actually happening? And it's happening at such a large scale that nearly everyone around you believes it too. It sounds crazy, but when it comes to what we've always been told to eat as part of a well-balanced diet, believing a lie is a sad, disturbing truth, and I'm here today to tell you that is even possible. A little bit, of, like, a little bit over a year ago, I saw a video on how animal products are bad for your health. <laughs> at the time, I just thought it was a bogus piece of work where somebody altered their statistics to make it seem that way since I knew for a fact that I was a healthy individual while still consuming a plentiful amount of meat and dairy products every single day. But then I watched the video and did a lot more research on my own and realized that that was undoubtedly true and that I was believing something was healthy for me just because others around me thought so and I grew up thinking that that way of eating was normal. I've now been plant-based for over a year and have learned the awful truth about animal products. In order to live in a more sustainable, healthier world, we all need to start transitioning to a plant-based diet. First, I'll explain the many reasons why meat and dairy are bad for us and the environment. Then I will tell you why companies have been lying to us about this for so many years. And then I will give you solutions on how you can make a difference in the world from knowing all of this. So why is meat and dairy so bad? Well, to start off, the World Health Organization has done numerous studies to conclude that processed meat is a group one carcinogen, which is the same classification as cigarettes. A 2015 article from the School of Public Health at Harvard states that eating only 50 grams of processed meat a day will increase your cancer risk by 18%. Just a reminder that 50 grams of meat is equivalent to only four slices of bacon or one singular hot dog. Now the main reason we've been told that milk is good for us all our lives is because it is said to have calcium which makes our bones stronger, right? Now although dairy does contain some calcium, the Harvard School of Public Health says that we can get way more than enough calcium from other normal daily foods that don't include dairy, and that the more milk people drink, the higher their risk for osteoporosis and hip fractures become. Now let's talk about this from a more environmental standpoint. In 2018, the United States Department of Agriculture stated that animal agriculture is responsible for 80 to 90% of US water consumption. In the documentary Cowspiracy, researchers have concluded that worldwide humans eat approximately 21 billion pounds of food each day, whereas cows eat around 135 billion pounds of food each day. This means that all humans combined eat less than a fourth of what only one animal used in the animal agriculture industry eats per day. Therefore, we could feed every single person on this planet with the food we feed to animals if we stop supporting these industries. We are currently producing enough food to feed 10 billion people, but most of it is going towards animal agriculture. So now that I've explained why meat and dairy is so bad for our health and the environment, I'm gonna move on to how companies have lied to us about this for so many years. Now the main reason companies encourage us all to eat animals is simple, they make money. Since animal agriculture is the leading cause to many health and environmental issues, and not to mention is completely wrong morally, companies need to lie to us in order for anyone to support them. The way they do this is actually pretty clever. The specific animal agriculture company tells big health corporations such as the American Diabetes Association and the American Cancer Society that they will pay them large amounts of money and continue to do so if they feature meat and dairy recipes on their website. Even though animal products have been proven to cause cancer, diabetes, heart disease, bone loss, and many other terrifying illnesses, these health companies need money in order to find a cure, so they accept cash from anywhere they can, which sometimes happens to be the animal agriculture industries. Now to make it even more scary, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition did a 2006 study which says that doctors are rarely required to learn anything about nutrition in medical school. And if they are, they're only required to have around 25 hours in total of nutrition instruction. That sadly means that most doctors, unless they do their own research outside of work, have no clue about what people should really be eating. So they're not going to question what their health website says that patients with diabetes or heart disease should eat. 
And if a doctor doesn't question it, the average person isn't going to either. So meat and dairy continues to be the foods that everyone is told to eat, even though there is a surplus of definitive evidence as to why we shouldn't. So now that I've talked a little bit about how companies are lying to us, I'm going to give you some ideas on what you can do as an individual to help solve this problem. The main thing I can tell anyone would be to actually educate yourself. Documentaries such as Cowspiracy and What the Health both have a lot of very important information that I think everyone should know before they give any um, input as to what they think a healthy diet is. Instead of just believing what you've been told your whole life and eating what is comfortable to you because it is normal, try to look into the actual facts behind your food and make your own decision on what you really want to be putting in your body and what industries you want to be contributing to. Now, if you've already made the decision you want to do something to change, then here's a couple of ways that you can cut down on meat and dairy right now. Start with something you eat a couple times a week but is not one of your daily meals. Cut that completely out of your diet, which should be difficult at first but not impossible. You can also try replacing one meal a day with a vegan alternative, such as a meal from the new restaurant on campus called Plant Power, which has a full vegan menu and is on the meal plan. Keep reminding yourself that you are helping you, others around you, the environment, and saving animals' lives by doing all of this. Today, I have explained the many reasons why we all need to start cutting down on meat and dairy products. Animal products cause many diseases, <laughs> trusted corporations are lying to us, and we need to do something to make a difference. So instead of immediately thinking something very far-fetched is a lie, keep an open mind, do some research, and find out for yourself, because you too believe that Santa Claus was real, until you finally realize it was all just a lie. Thank you.